Homestead Act of 1919, otherwise known as Prohibition, was a pivotal historical period in American history with reverberations that reached into every corner of our country with unforeseen and in many cases unfortunate consequences. With countless fascinating stories to be told about Marion from this illustrious period in time, in this episode we'll share a little known positive story from an otherwise chaotic and dark time in America's distant past. Our story starts on lot number four in the B4 section of Marion's original survey, better known to history as 110 South Market Street. The lot just south of the original crossroads of southern Illinois found its immediate commercial use as a convenient location for a livery and horse stable. And for the next 80 plus years, several Marion citizens operated a thriving business at this location. By 1919, Marion's rapid expansion coupled with the proliferation of the automobile saw the livery pushed out and the construction of a two-story brick structure with a sign out front that read, Future Home of Marion Ice Cream Company. With the country's vote to go dry by banning all alcoholic beverages, the consumption of ice cream in the U.S. grew 30-fold almost overnight. And that demand continued to grow throughout the rip-roaring 1920s. Truly unique in their setup, the Marion Ice Cream Company operated an ice cream shop along with an ice cream factory that could produce up to 800 gallons of ice cream per day. Known for their velvet soft ice cream, patrons of the ice cream shop could choose from a whole list of flavors and ingredients to create a wonderful treat. But it was the new technology in manufacturing and refrigeration that allowed the ice cream company to offer frozen bricks of ice cream to their patrons. In an age when cool food storage in most homes required blocks of ice, taking home a frozen block of ice cream was a true novelty of the day. What had been a growing business struggling to keep up with demand for almost a decade came to an abrupt end when the financial collapse of 1929 reached 110 South Market Street, forcing the ice cream company to close their doors permanently. Sensing an opportunity, Midwest Dairy, based in DuCoin, purchased the facility for the production and storage capacity. Closing the ice cream shop and focusing on manufacturing, the ice cream factory continued until World War II when rations on milk, sugar, and other ingredients brought an end to ice cream production on South Market Street. The structure was repurposed and reused over the decades, serving as a grocery store, law offices, tailor shop, and even the first home of Marion's Chamber of Commerce. Today, lot number four in the B4 section of the town's original survey has been incorporated into the Marion Cultural and Civic Center, where they, by chance, happen to offer ice cream in their concession stands today. This is Sean Vincelette. And that is one of the stories of Marion, Illinois.